on my flight to Malaysia and uh, my plane just made landfall. I don't know if this is Malaysia quite yet, it might be Vietnam. Whatever the case, it's stunning. I feel like I'm in the ISS. Ooh, I'm in Malaysia and um, I mean, it was really beautiful on the uh, approach coming in. Uh, there seemed to be what looked like palm trees, just like almost perfectly organized. Uh, and, and maybe like some sort of like a, a palm tree farm or something. I don't know, it was really impressive. Malaysia, I really don't know anything about Malaysia. I mean, I guess that's why I'm traveling, right? I'm trying to figure out uh, all these things about different countries with the kind of open and naive eyes. So let's see what, what's up in Malaysia. just told that I need to try this fruit, this really, really stinky fruit that also happens to sound extremely similar to my middle name. Which by the way, I don't tell anybody what my middle name is. It's Thomas Blank Anderson. And uh, I'm not gonna say what the name of the stinky fruit is, Yeah. <laughs> but apparently it smells awful. Some people love the taste of it. Some people hate the taste of it. I, we just drove by, and it... Yeah, it, we just only talked about it after we had nasi lemak. Yeah, and, and it smells awful. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to eat it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, is this a Malaysian thing? Or is it a Southeast Asian thing? It's mostly in Malaysia and uh, Thailand. Really? Yeah. People eat but in Thailand, this fruit, the, whatever this yeah, the yeah. name of this fruit is, yeah, yeah. in Thailand and Malaysia. But what, what happens in Thailand? It's different. Like, the, the type you have in Thailand and Malaysia, they have kind of really different taste even though it's close and it's the same fruit but they have like it's really distinct and they have like many types also so we'll see it's a it's a complete wow. it smells really bad here <laughs> really you feel it oh yeah yeah i smell it it's <laughs> like it's <laughs> It's really unpleasant. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, can I uh, film this? Okay. Okay. Whoa. Cool. It's kind. Of, it looks kind of dry inside. So like this is a tradition thing. So like, this is good. Huh? This is good. Ah, this is like very, uh, cause it stinks right and like after you eat it, there's a taste taste in your mouth and your fingers for like a day or two. You can taste it for a day? Yeah, yeah. You can taste this shit for a day! Okay. So, uh, sometimes like some people, they'll like use the shell and gargle with it and wash your hands. Like you let the tap so you, run and you, you kind of like put a shell in and like you gargle the water. So you use the entire fruit and then you yeah. recycle it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm about to eat durian, uh, which is a good piece to eat. I think maybe this one. This not, one? Not, not too big. And there's seeds inside of this. Yeah, it's like a big seed, big seed in the middle. Wow, this is like, it's 
like even the even the texture to begin with is um it's like kind of solid on the outside but if you put too much pressure on it there's like like there's this like stuff on my finger that I want to lick off but it just smells so bad do I just eat the whole thing no you take a bite just take a whole bite of it yeah take a whole bite Yeah. <laughs> How's it? <laughs> you confused? <laughs> it's so complicated. <laughs> it told I told you it's a complicated fruit. <laughs> It's like there's a little bit of a uh, cinnamon and nuttiness cinnamon, well. to me, but oh. <laughs> and it almost it also has like a little bit of banana in there, oh, like okay. like banana. <laughs> if if cinnamon could somehow spoil mm-hmm. <laughs> if cinnamon could somehow spoil like go bad <laughs> is it bearable it's bearable like is it does it taste bad okay does it taste bad or good or the weird thing is is that it like some parts of it taste great and some parts of it taste awful so it's it tastes awful and great at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I don't. <laughs> Careful with the seat. The seat. I was listening. Yeah. You alright? Yeah, I sure. <laughs> you look. You look like you're suffering. <laughs> oh. No, I, I'm, I'm gonna be okay if you... Oh, I can't wait to dig in. Mm. Mm. Okay, I can't. I don't know. Just, mm, if, wait, if you want to trade out, trade, trade here. Trade here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 So I've just found myself at the Batu Caves in Malaysia, and uh, this is pretty impressive. It's uh, just this big mound of rock with this golden statue. And this place is really big. And I guess there's uh, those steps right there that I'm gonna climb up. Holy s this place is big. Oh my god, there's a monkey! Holy crap, there's a monkey. It's really hard to capture or state how steep this staircase is. This is crazy. I'm gonna be taking this uh, tour into the dark cave and it's it's pretty foreboding in there it's just darkness and animal sounds yeah. all right all right so if, as you go down you can start to see the spiders on your left and right side of the pathway yeah like that oh whoa here here oh i can see it This monkey is hilarious. He got a big bag of uh, nuts or cheesy poofs or whatever it is, and he's eating it and then giving scraps to the other monkeys. Scraps come down, little guys pick it up. Oh wow. Whoa. I'm 
Travis. All right, so I'm hanging out with Travis. It's after his uh, performance, and uh, he took me to where? Where are we? By the way, we're in. Uh, it's called Sea Park in this area. This area is called Sea Park. Yeah, yeah. Park. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of far, kind of far from like where you're staying. Like 25 minutes away. I'm all right with that. Okay, so you ordered something and it appeared in almost less than a minute. A minute, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this called? Nasi lama. Huh? Nasi lama. Nasi lama. 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 Nasi lama. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, this is a uh, fried egg rice. Uh, this looks like chicken. chicken is this chicken? chicken? Yeah. Okay, it's and sauce. and what's the sauce made of? It's uh, kind of like uh, spices, uh, chili and onion. Okay, let's try this out. So this is this is very. Very, very Malaysian. Yeah. Okay. The most Malaysian you can get. It's, it's as Malaysian as you can get. Yeah. So, I'm eating this uh, with a little bit of rice, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of chicken. Yeah, this. That's spicy. It That's is? really good. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Come on. Let me try to process what's going on right now. <laughs> that chicken is is very succulent. Yeah, it is. And the sauce is like it's spicy, but I don't. What, what type of spice is this? The spice with the uh, with the um, chicken. Yeah. It's excellent, and then and then this egg, this egg yolk is actually very yellow. Uh, so in in different parts of the world, the egg yolk is orange, uh, depending on how I guess genetically modified things might be. Well, let's see this this egg. God, I've been here for a fucking week and I haven't had food this good. Well, up until today, I actually didn't know that you could eat this. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I'm still surprised. This is Stingray. And I guess it looks exactly uh, how you'd imagine a cooked version of Stingray would. Its uh, texture is very... Meaty. Wow. Let's see what stingray spec tastes like. Mm. Wow. That reminds me a lot of like uh, a less a less fishy version of swordfish. I feel weird. Like, is it okay to eat stingray? All right. Uh, my trip to Malaysia is pretty much done. Um, so, final impressions of Malaysia. I like Malaysia. It was nice, really like relaxing, kind of chill atmosphere. Uh, people are cool, and um, you know, I didn't uh, actually expect this to happen, but I, I think I fell in love uh, playing with the monkeys uh, over at the temple. So. Um, you know, despite the temple being like super touristy and, and having like tons of, of people there like taking pictures and stuff, really playing with the monkeys for me was awesome. So thank you, Malaysia. Um, and I can't wait to come back. Persembahan daripada Nona Asia dan juga Rahmah Ali, Lembu Patah Tanduk, lagu petikan daripada filem Padang. Jalan marah-marah macam lembu marah